Hey guys, Lady Cibuana here in New Jersey and welcome to my channel. Today I'll be cooking the beef soup with raw flank and bones. It's a twist of Linat Ang Baka, the pistak version for beef soup and bulalo style. I went to Asian market last week. Well, I usually do groceries once a week on Asian store to get my supplies. I was surprised. They had a kanto sabaka, or they call it raf flank. Way back then, my grandparents had a restaurant in Tabuan Market, and every morning we serve different types of soup. One of them is their popular beef soup, where they use the raf flank. Yes, this is where I got the idea and recipe. This part of beef takes longer time to cook, but mind you guys, it's so rewarding. Vietnamese people use it also on their popular soup, Pu Tu, Pho Tu, Phu Tu, did I say it right? And here are the ingredients. One and a half beef flank, cut into serving part. One to two pounds of beef bones, but this is optional since I have them on stock. But basically, the fats from the beef flank is good enough. A tablespoon of oil, two cloves garlic, medium-sized ginger, one medium onion, quarter, peppercorn or ground black pepper, two medium potato, quarter, two to three bunches of bok choy or pechay, ten pieces green beans, three pieces corn cut into three parts, salt and pepper to taste, water, and you can put some green onions, red squash, and saging nasaba if you have them. In a pot over medium heat, heat the oil. Add onion and ginger first. Then add the garlic. Cook until tender and aromatic. Add a beef flank and cook, stirring occasionally until lightly browned. Don't add the beef bones yet. In this recipe, I used the beef flank. I knew it's greasy and oily, but I love beef fats. Excuse my greediness. You can substitute it with beef ribs with lesser fat, and you don't have to use extra bones since ribs have it already. When the rough flanks are lightly brown, you can add the bone parts. Let it simmer for one and a half hours. 30 minutes if you're using a pressure cooker. Add more water as needed during cooking. Maintain approximately four to five cups. Then add corn. Season it with salt and pepper. You can adjust it later once it's almost done. When the meat is tender, you can add the potato and cook for another 5 minutes. Then add green beans and cook for another 3 minutes. Don't forget to add more water as needed. Adjust the flavor. You may add more salt and pepper according to your taste. Then add the pet chai or bok choy. The steam itself can cook the bok choy. Garnish it with long green pepper. Enjoy! 